Okay, so more practice on operators, eigenfunctions, and eigenvalues. This is also in response to somebody's question. So that's the reason I'm doing it. 13.12. Um, so 13.12, which of the following wave functions are eigenfunctions of the operator d dx uh, squared, right? If they, are eigen, if they are eigenfunctions, what's the eigenvalue? So here's the function, and the operator's here. So just to clarify that in my head, I'm going to write operator, O caret, and it's the operator here, and here's the function. Um, another thing is, I, th I think I'm going to do a couple uh, parts of this problem in, this, in the one video. This appears to be pretty different in form than that. This is an exponential. This is a trigonometric. That's also an, an exponential, so I may not do that one for this video. I think I'll just do these two. And you know what? Here's another exponential, which has a, an exponent in the exponential. That's a bit weird. So I'll do that. I'll do these three. One, two, and three. This one's a trigonometric function, in my opinion, not that different than this. Like, for, you see x is in the numerator here. It's in the numerator over here also. B and D, I think, aren't, aren't, aren't that different. So let's do A, B, and E for this video. A is, as I've got it here. Remember now, that this is a this is an operator, this which will operate in this in a linear fashion. And so um, I can say this is the same thing as a e minus three a e to the minus three i x. Okay, and that's what f is. So I'm going to just differentiate this twice, and I'll be done. So d f d x is equal to minus three a e to the minus 3 x plus minus 3 i a e to the minus 3 i x. Is that right? Pull the minus 3 i. It, indeed it is, okay? And I used u substitution to do this. You may want to you may want to review that. D F dx, second derivative of that, then is going to be minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9a e to the minus 3x plus and then minus 3i times minus 3i is going to be plus 9i squared e to the minus 3ix I squared, of course, is negative 1. 9a, I'm just going to rewrite this so I don't have to do that in my head. Minus 9, oops, there's an a here too. Almost lost that. a, e to the minus 3ix. I can factor out a 9a, e to the minus 3x, minus e to the minus 3ix. And this is not f anymore, right? Because f was that, or rather with the a there. Agreed? Sorry, that is not f. Because it's minus, it's a difference. So this is not an eigenfunction, sad. Okay, let's do b. B was sine 2 pi x over a. Getting you ready for chapter 15, by the way. Um, I'm not expecting you to recognize this, but it's something that's... Actually, I think we did see that um, already. Gosh, I don't remember. So, either way, we've either seen that very recently or are about to see it. The for, that form of, of sine, we did see that in a wave function. So the question is, is this an eigenfunction of the operator second derivative of x? Okay, so let's do the first derivative of this. Let's let, let's let this be f. df dx is equal to 2 pi a, oops, cosine 2 pi x over a. You, I used u substitution to get that. And then the second derivative of that is going to be 
minus 4 pi squared over a squared, right? I pulled another 2 out, but it's going to be minus because the derivative of cosine is minus sine. 2 pi x over a. That's f back out again, so therefore this is the eigenvalue. Wow, which we love. Smiley face. Okay. Good, so yes, this is an eigenfunction of the operator. ddx squared. All right, so let's do e. Hope I hit the cord on this. Yes, I did. I recorded this once before. Problem 13.12e. And realized at the end of the video that I had not recorded. So, all right. So if f is equal to e to the minus i x squared, the operator is d d x squared. I'm going to do this one at a time. Now, this one I can't do in my head. I'm going to I'm going to do a u substitution, okay? And if I do a u substitution, I'm going to have to I'm going to end up saying d f d x is equal to d f d u d u d x, right? So let's let u equal minus i x squared. d u d x is going to equal two times minus i x, which is, uh, to write this in a, in a prettier form, minus 2i x. That's du dx. Okay? So, if, if u is, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so if u is, if, if u is that, then f of u is equal to e to the u, right? Because we chose, we chose that to be e, or, or rather u. So, df du is sip equal e to the u. All right, so this then is df du is e to the u times minus 2i to the x. I'm going to bring the minus 2i out front, two, or rather 2i x out front, e to the, let's see, that was du dx, what is df du? Oh yeah, e to the u minus 2ix e to the minus ix squared, right the other. Because remember, we said that u was that, right? Okay. So that's the first derivative. That's df dx. All right? Now we've got two functions of x here, so we're going to have to use the product rule. I'm going to call that g in this h. And so the the second derivative of this is going to be g prime h plus h prime g. So let's calculate these separately, okay? We know that g is equal to minus 2i to the x because I, x I said so right there, right? And h is equal to e to the minus i x squared. So g prime is going to be minus 2i and h prime is going to be, that's a little harder. Oh, wait a second, h prime? I just did that, right? That's the, that's the derivative of that with respect to x, right? Which I just did. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be that whole thing, right? Minus two i x e to the minus i x squared. If this doesn't make sense to you, then calculate the derivative of this do d dx of that, okay? Which I just did up here. All right, so d squared, d dx squared of f is going to be equal to g prime, which is minus 2i. I'm going to get lost if I don't map it back over to this here, okay? Times h, which is e to the minus i x squared plus g prime, which is, wait, 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 I just did g prime, plus h prime, which is minus 2i x e to the minus i x squared times g, which is minus 2i x 
okay? Minus 2i e to the minus i x squared. I just combine those two terms. That's going to be a positive 4. i squared. x squared. e to the minus i x squared. Let's keep going. Minus 2i e to the minus i x squared. Minus... 4 x squared e to the minus i x squared. Okay, can you see where I'm going with this? Factor that out. I can factor this term out, right? This becomes minus 2i minus 4 x squared. times e to the minus i x squared. Okay. So there's my function, my original function. So let me leave you with this question. If this is my original function, what is this? And that's harder than it sounds. Okay. Let me leave that question with you. All right. And, it, and it actually... If you if it sounds like a real simple answer, if this then then maybe maybe you don't understand what I'm asking. Okay, so just don't don't kill yourself on it. Come and ask me. But I want you to know th those of you who know the answer, tell me why am I asking it? Why is that interesting? When I say what is this? If that's the function factored back out, what is this? Why am I asking that? Okay, good question. Hope that's helpful.